Good morning. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd walk you through the new setup that I have for the last week of April and first two days of May. Um, if you recall, I was planning one day per page. Let me find it this way with the time and my to-dos. I made some changes. I moved from a B6 to an A6 size Stology, which is this. And I this is a learning curve. So I'm kind of trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. I'm very much enjoying not having one day per page because I don't really need it. So hopefully this will stick. So here we go. This, these are pictures from uh, when my husband and I went away for our anniversary just this past weekend. Um, we went to Pennsylvania, right on the border of Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I'm sorry, not, yeah, Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And we had a wonderful long weekend. It was very nice. The weather was nice. Actually, it rained on Sunday, but we were coming home, so it didn't really matter. And then yesterday, which was Monday, I had to sit down and plan my week. And here we are. So today is Tuesday. So I already worked on this yesterday and it worked and I'm hoping to keep going. So this is my cover page. I normally do, let me find a cover page for the week. I normally do one big sheet and then I start, actually that's not it. Here we go. So I do a cover and then I do a vellum and then I do the cover page. This week, what I'm doing, I may still put a vellum, but I haven't found anything that really grabs me. So I just did this. These are stickers that I got. I got them at, on Etsy, but I think I just saw them on Amazon. I will link the Amazon link down below. And if I could find the Etsy one, I will also do that. But yeah, so I love these stickers. They're washy, so they're very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they don't create a lot of bulk on in your planner. And this calendar is actually in my shop from, I, I only did the six months of the year, the last six months of the year. So from June through December, I, I am selling these in my shop. I also created the little April reminder, the little April name, date thingy up here. And yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. I may, like I said, I may still put a vellum, but for now I'm really enjoying it. And then the change is this. So I was inspired by, and I cannot remember the name. Um, I think she's, German. I want to say she's German, but she never really speaks. It's just music. She does have a couple of videos. She's on Instagram. I will also link both her YouTube channel and her Instagram down below. Very minimal. And she plans on an A6, which I've been binging lately because I need ideas on how to plan. So I was inspired by her. It's not exactly what she what she did, but this seems to be working. So here's my week 17, all the to-dos that don't have um, a date specific where I need them. At the top, I have the date, the time I wake up and the time I go to bed and the weather, because you guys know how much I like the weather. The weather stickers and this laundry sticker are in my shop. So, so this is reserved for wake up, go to bed, weather, and the date. Um, over here, the first part of my day is for the things that are important. If you, this was important, but yesterday I was so busy with everything else, having just come back from being away, that this didn't happen, so it's happening today. 
So this is for what I'm what I need to focus on that particular day. And then I do whatever to do's I need to do. And if I have space, I do a quote. I really like this. I have this app on my phone, which I could also um, link down below that sends me text messages or like it pings me when there's a new quote and I'm loving it. I, I keep going back because you can go back and you can look at new quotes. I keep going back to looking for to look for quotes. Here I was going to put down my dinner plans or what we're having for dinner. But yesterday I wanted to get rid of all the food that was in the refrigerator so we didn't make dinner. My husband came home late. So I think I'm going to reserve this for my for my gratitude. So yeah, this is working. And then my plan is what I'm doing is I'm going to do this. I fold the page in half. So I have Monday, Tuesday, and then I'll have the Wednesday. And here's my May, which I'm also really enjoying with those same stickers. On this side, I have Thursday and Friday, and we can do it this way. So this way I can always see what the weekly to-dos are, and I can figure out what I wanna do. And this also helps with having a mark to where you are, and I don't need to put tabs. Although I know all of you guys love tabs, I do as well. I think I think they look so pretty, but it's an A6 and it looks so tiny to put tabs on it. So I don't know. I'm I think I'm going to enjoy that. So yeah, so this is Thursday. And then I can do Friday. And then what I did was I folded the sticker and because these are on washi paper, it's easy to fold and I can have Saturday and Sunday and I can still see the uh what what's on that week and then the other thing I did that was different instead of doing a month on two pages for my calendar I decided to just do a one page and basically all I'm putting on in my monthly are birthdays bills that are due and important dates. So what I did was I color coded and it doesn't necessarily have to be any particular color. I think the only one I'm going to keep a specific color are going to be the bills, which are always going to be green because for some reason, well, not some reason, I mean, it's green, it's money. When I look at anything on my planner that's in green, I automatically see it as a financial thing. So that's always going to be green. And then the colors for me and my husband could be different, but I forget where this is from. I'll also list it down below. Um, and these are see-through, they're clear, sort of see-through, I guess I would say. And you can see the dates. So I just put them on top of the dates and I can see it. So that's my monthly. That's all I use it for, just appointments, bills, birthdays. And honestly, I don't have that many appointments. I'm home, so I don't have that many appointments. And then again, I was inspired by that YouTuber and Instagrammer. And instead of writing down things for my habit tracker, which I'm gonna try again, it, they never work for me because I keep forgetting to come back to the habit tracker. I did drawing, so reading, walking, praying, writing, water, sleep, allergies. These are supposed to be flowers. Don't laugh at me. YouTube, and then I have a one row empty, and these are hours that I work. Um, another row empty, and this is my mood. So I'm going to try and keep up with this and see what happens. And then what I did was I separated the week. So Monday through Saturday, Monday through Saturday, Monday through Saturday, so and so on until the end of the month. Let's see how this works. I will show you at the end of the month if it did or not. And then I start with a quote. I still need to decorate this page. This is blank and then it's notes and journaling. So this is my journaling from yesterday. 
So yeah, I am really enjoying having these pages being able to fold so I could see what's going on. So today I'll keep keep it like this because I know this is what I'm looking for. And when I close the book, I don't have to be looking for a tab. This is the tab for the month of April. And for the month of May, I, I do have uh, a May one from the style planner, which I'm going to put, and I'm still trying to decide, do I want it here or do I want it here? I'm not sure. That's why it's not on it. That's my week, week 17 for 2021. Um, also, I forgot to say, I created this. I can, they are, it is in my shop. If you want, it comes with the list of cal so if you buy not the calendars the date tabs so let me find it the date covers from last week do i have them where's last week so it comes free if you purchase these or the square ones which i will i will insert a picture the square ones are these and um, you'll get three months of this, May, June, and July. So yeah, I am enjoying this. Let's see if it works. And I will report back at the end of the week or next week. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the little bell to be notified when another video is posted. I usually post once a week. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to start doing twice a week, but for now once a week, usually on Tuesday nights or Wednesday mornings. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'll speak with you soon. Bye.